Our results 2018 coverage continues now. We want to bring in our political analyst Jim Clark on the race for Florida's governor. Yes, Jim, it is going to be a close race between Republican candidates Ron DeSantis and Adam Putnam. We know you are an expert, so who's going to win tonight? (laughs) (laughs) Six months ago, I would have bet my house on Adam Putnam. Right. Remember, DeSantis had 3%. Nobody knew who he was. One tweet from mm-hmm. President yeah. Trump. It's all it took. It's all it took. Imagine that. And I'm, I keep trying to think of a president who has had that kind of influence in the past, and I can't, uh, who could dr- take a candidate from 3% and add 40 points wow. overnight. And the polls right now really do seem to be pretty much neck and neck. Yeah, poor Adam Putnam has spent eight years working towards this, uh, and then one tweet uh, sends him mm-hmm. uh, on a path to losing. Almost certainly DeSantis is going to win tonight. You think so? Yeah, uh, Putnam's closed the gap a little bit in the last couple of weeks, but uh, DeSantis uh, got such a boost from President Trump. We'll hmm. see. We're going to hold you accountable if it goes the other <laughs> yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be here all night, so yeah. she can check in. If I'm you. wrong, I won't be here all night. <laughs> Now, the Democratic side of the field is a little more crowded. A lot of the polls have Gwen Graham in the lead, but we've been hearing a lot about Andrew Gillum really making a surge just in the last few weeks. What do you think about that? We have been. This has been a, a strange race because we've seen almost everyone surge at some mm-hmm. point. Uh, when uh, Green got, Jeff Green got into the race mm-hmm. and started spending $30 million, he surged. Phil Levine surged and, and at one point tied Gwen Graham. Now he's faded. And in the last, what, uh, four or five days. Yeah, it's a late surge, though. Yeah, it's a late surge. And it's probably too late. He was coming from too far down. But he's going to probably end up in second place. Uh, Gwen Graham is the favorite of the of the two million early votes in Florida. Uh, On the Democratic side, 60 percent came from women. Hmm. And Uh, those people are favoring Gwen Graham. So um, she has a tremendous boost even before the polls open this morning. Well, she's saying it's Gwen and the men. Gwen and the men. (laughs) That's been extremely effective. Mm -hmm. We'll see, though, because, I mean, I really don't think people really believe a lot of the polls anymore, you know, especially since the history of polling. So the final poll is what happens tonight. It does. And uh, remember... You know, this is so important. Independents can vote. Uh, The piece you showed, people think, oh, it's, Mm -hmm. you know, Democrats and Republicans. And if you're in line at 7 o'clock, you get to vote. Independents can vote in the nonpartisan races. And there are so many of them. Right. Yeah, I mean, one's a tax uh, increase in Orange County. So you want to be there for that.